So correct me if I'm wrong, but if you look at the photographs and you look at, well, you look at this, um, the feed room door is approximately right here, correct? That's right. Would you circle that with a red circle for me, please? Okay. And the trajectory on both these shots, so let's take the small animal cage. Did that come from anywhere near, near the feed room? Doesn't appear to have, no. It would have been up if you follow that out. Are you familiar with where that um, great vine was? If you're looking at the feed room all the way to the right? Well, listen, I think a little bit further up than that. But even maybe beyond that, one of the shots fired by that AR blackout was fired from somewhere way up here, correct? I mean, that's the trajectory. I can't tell you the distance it was from, from the animal cage to wherever. I can't tell you where the shooter was within that line. But that line is way away from the, from the, from the right? Right. And this one, while it's closer, it's still many feet away from the, um, the feed door. Yes. So as you saw, this area right here that night, you assumed, I think, not assumed, but everyone's sort of concluded that it was a relatively close shot into the feed room that killed Paul, correct? Two shots. I believe so. Okay. Now the AR, um, at least this line would indicate the AR was some distance away from the feed room when those two shots were fired, correct? I can, yes. Okay. Now you recovered these projectiles. Did, were they tested for blood or tissue? So that you can determine whether they pass through Maggie or just were misses. I submitted to the lab. You don't know whether they tested them or not. If I, I told you they didn't test them, would that surprise you? No. Okay. Now, does this lead you to believe, and you're someone that processes crime scenes, I mean, if this had been sketched out the night of the, of the um, I mean, you didn't take these measurements until a month later. Yeah, right. I took these measurements on scene the night of. Oh, so you had these measurements. Right. You, but did you know the degrees? No, that I didn't know. Until July 12th. But on July 12th, did anyone go back out and walk <coughs> this line to see if maybe there's no casings way up here? No one looked up there, correct? Not when I'm aware. Okay. And no one did a topographical study to indicate, if you follow these lines back, whether the wherever a shooter could have been were higher or lower uh, than um, the doghouse or the, the um, small animal cage, right? But doesn't this indicate to you there were two shooters? There was a shooter up here and a shooter down here? Is it a possibility? Well, let me say this. Is it a possibility that there are two shooters based on the data you collected? Just, I, it just indicated it was, there was movement between. Movement from here all the way up to here? I don't know that it went all the way up there. But is it, I'm not telling you, I mean, one. One explanation would be movement, correct? Yeah. One explanation would be would be two shooters. I'm sorry? Yes? I wasn't there. No, 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 no. But one explanation of this data would be two shooters. <coughs> one explanation. Not the, but one. Not the only one. Yeah, not the only one. But it is a reasonable explanation, just like one shooter running up that way, correct? Sure. So a re one of the reasonable explanations is there are two people there. There are two guns there. One's a shotgun, one's an AR. And we now see that that AR is being shot from way up here, correct? I can't see that, though. It's somewhere along that line. And that line goes a dozen, two dozen, three dozen yards from the feed room, if you follow it straight up. I don't know where they were within that line. Could someone have been a lookout there? They went there to kill Paul? And and uh, that's the lookout. Maggie surprised them. They thought she was gone. Have no idea. Reasonable though, right? Right? Have no idea. I wasn't there. I know you weren't there, but none of us were there. We're trying to figure out what happened that night. And clearly, one reasonable explanation is two shooters. One explanation. One. Right. And a number of them. I'd like to offer this to Devin.
Yeah, it's not to scale. Talk to the court. I'm sorry. Your Honor, I'm offering this into evidence. Says the state. No objection, Your Honor. Is there any objection? Go ahead and take the stand. Thank you. You testified it was 80-something degrees, right? 84 degrees. It's not 90-something degrees? I had 84. Okay, let me show you defense exhibits 19 and 22. Are these the actual protractor, protractor um, measurements you did that? Of the animal cage. Okay, both of them are of the animal cage? Yes. Okay. And did you do the same measurements? On the doghouse. Yes. What does that indicate? You mean what is this? No, what is the angle based on that? Can't really. Eighty something. <laughs> okay. You have in your notes, let me see what you have in your notes you recorded it. And that's where's your where's your um, full report? This is Just, all the notes. Yeah, I'm looking for the sketch though. Okay, where's the doghouse? What does the horizontal 96 degrees mean? Uh, not sure why that says 96. I'm sorry? I'm not sure why it says 96 if I had 84. In your crime scene notes? That's right. But you wrote down, uh, your official report said 96 degrees. My notes said 84 degrees. Well, did you just... The notes were taken at the scene? 
Yes. Okay. Thank you, Court's indulgence. Based on your calculations, both of those shots came well to the right if you're facing the feed room, well to the right of where the feed room is, correct? Thereabouts. I'm sorry? Thereabouts, yes. Thereabouts? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yes, sir. So I'm, I'm trying to look for some concise, you're a criminalist. You would agree with me that they did not come from the feed room or right. the vicinity of the feed room, and they're literally yards away from the feed room, correct? Yes. Okay, I'm not going to beat that horse. So let's talk a little bit about footprints, okay? Okay. So I noticed in your report, correct me if I'm wrong, that you were unable to identify, either exclude or include, a number of different footprints in and around the feed room, bloody footprints, um, and other footprints um, because of the quality of the photography. Is that correct? I was able to attribute them to Paul's shoes. I'm sorry? I was able to attribute them to Paul's shoes, though. Well, we'll talk about Paul's shoes in just a minute. Mm -hmm. But when you, uh, what's the process to take a photograph of footwear or imprint um, that's recognized by a number of different agencies, including the FBI? What's that process? Place a scale, preferably an L scale. Uh, around the impression and document it with the camera parallel to the surface so you get a straight on shot. Um, put it in the camera in raw settings so you capture all the data with that photograph. So let me ask you, so the process is, first of all, you take a general photo photograph of the impression, right? That's yes. Good. Doesn't matter what angle, doesn't matter what the lighting is at that point, correct? If you're just documenting you're just that documenting. it's there. But when you go to take a photograph of a footprint for forensic analysis later on to compare it to a known shoe, um, you're supposed to do a couple things. Um, one, you're supposed to have good lighting if you can get it, right? Perfectly. Two, you're supposed to put a scale down next to it so that later on you can... I mean, because you need to understand how big or how small um, the foot is and the distance between the treads. So the scale is a little, um, like a little ruler, just a piece of a ruler that you put down next to it to get some idea whether what an inch looks like, what two inches look like. And that's really important, is it not? It is, to make sure it's to scale. Okay. And then you're supposed to do a photograph straight down on it, with again, with good lighting, um, so that you can have, a, you understand what you're seeing is a straight-on impression, correct? That's right. Now, was that done on any, any of the impressions that y'all analyzed? No. We didn't recognize on scene. I'm sorry? 